Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I want to thank you guys, man, for joining me on another video. Today, changing it up, man. None of this stuff has anything to do with shaving. Well, somewhat. Uh, besides smelling good, that's the only thing that has to do with shaving, right? Um, you know, I, I have done unboxing with Dixon flannels and shirts before because next to shaving dixon flannels and all that is another thing i enjoy and love um i guess collecting you know um but this one man mail call so you know gotta gotta get that hair looking good smelling good this is the end of the day so this has been through work and everything's so i don't know how good it looks but still looks pretty good man and I needed more pomade. I got Suavecito and I bought this. It's a 32 ounce tub. This is a lot, man. But if you're into pomade, this stuff, it smells good. It smells nice. It's got a good scent to it. I got the, I like the shine, the shine it gives to it. You know, it holds great, holds really great. So this is the feed and hold, which is the extra strong, all right? And if you're into pomade, man, this website, it's called Furby, for E-B, something like that. F-E-R-E-B-E dot -E -E com. I got this at a killer price. I got this at $51.99. And that uh, comes out to $1.62 an ounce. So that is super, super cheap, man. So just throwing it out there, you know, just another thing to keep feeling good and fresh and looking the best I can, all right? The next thing, man. One thing I try avoiding and uh, end up finally giving in, but I gave in to a certain extent because I didn't actually buy the name brand. I went through a website, I got four fra fragrances, right? And this is the first one. So I got it from Dulcier. And so pretty much these are bootleg, what I like to refer because I like to joke around and make fun of things. These are bootleg uh, scents, you know? And, uh, Packaging came nice. Look at that. You open it up and iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. And I really wanted to try the, you know, just try some scents. I was looking to buy an actual name brand, but then kind of pulled back. You know, I, I haven't really been into colognes much. You know, I have Tommy Bahama Compass, which is a fairly inexpensive uh, cologne. I forgot how much I paid for that. I bought that a couple years ago already. And this has been my go-to, John Vervedo's Vintage. I also did use Gucci Guilty. That one ran out and never haven't replaced it. I've been using the vintage. You know, most of the time our shave gear, the shave, the shave soaps, the, the after splashes, they smell good enough. And you know, with COVID and everything, I'm not going out as much to be honest, you know, or next to all, you know? So um, yeah, that's good enough for me. But I did want to get into this, you know, just some fragrances. So this one is how it comes. It comes like this. It says musky oak moss. What is great about this company? It, every single one comes with a sample. Comes with a sample and it comes with this cool card. All right. And it tells you everything on it. So the musky oak moss, this is inspired by Creed Aventus. And Creed Aventus is like 300 bucks, dude, if you buy the real one. This was like 50 bucks. You know, how can you? Yeah. So am I expected to smell as strong as potent or anything? Because, well, no, of course not. But, you know, some of these, one of them did kind of, I could smell a lot more because I guess it's slightly leaks. I did see one little oil spot, but not the bottle, maybe the sample. Um, and it smelled great, dude. And it was, it was pretty strong. So, I, you know, I haven't tried the samples or anything yet. Um, and, you know, f I paid like, and, and by buying four, I got 20% off. So I ended up pretty much just buying three and getting one for free. Um, Dude, so I paid like 119 bucks, something like that, for four cents to try all these. All of these are inspired by actual scents. And so we'll go to this one again. This one is Crete Aventus, right? And the top notes are apple, pineapple, bergamot, middle notes are rose, birch, leaf, patchouli. Base notes are musk, oak, moss, and amber. And it also says concentration, so it's 15% concentrated. 
And then here's a little thank you. It says, our mission is to deliver the highest quality, luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. Thank you for giving us a try. How it works. Any scent you order comes with a sample you can test before opening the full size 50 millimeter bottle. Don't like the sample, just return the package with the 50 ml bottle and you will get a full refund. Returns are free, no questions asked. So what do I have to lose? If I don't like it, I get to keep the sample and I just got to return it back and no questions asked, I get refunded. I'll probably have to pay shipping, but big deal, you know? And so um, here we go. Let's see what it smells like. I thought it was going to be a short video. I'm five minutes in, man. Still on the first fragrance. All right. So I've never reviewed fragrances and colognes. You know, they're hard to, uh, for me to pull off scents, but. It smells, whoa, this smells really good, dude. I do get that pineapple. Oh man, this, that's really good, man. I get like that apple, that pineapple, that bergamot. Like it's, I, it's a cologne scent, but I do get those citrus notes in it and it's really nice. Whoa, dude, for 49 bucks. <laughs> Goosebumps, goosebumps, dude. Score. Am I happy? Fuck yeah, dude. And I highly recommend this, dude. Come on, you order it. You get a sample you don't like it, send it back, dude. I sound like I'm getting paid for these guys, man. <laughs> From these guys, I got these for free. No, no. Man, and look at that. Look at that sample, dude. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What do I think? It's a great fucking scent and it smells great, man. It smells great. Does not that smell cheap? It smells nice. And if I smell somebody walking down the street and I got a whiff of that, man, you know, it smells good. It does not, you know, yeah. I don't know how else to describe it, but man. Keeper, keeper, all right. So that's my first impression. First one, is it worth the money? Fuck yeah. 50 bucks, dude. I have no risk at all. Fuck yeah, all right. Next one, they all come in the same package. So they save money on packaging, labeling, all that stuff, you know? Same thing, a little nicely packaged. This one is Fogir Oud. That is the generic name for it, okay? 50 ml, sample again. And this one is inspired by Tom Ford Oud Wood Eau de Parfum. The concentration is 15%. The top notes are rosewood, tobacco, pink pepper, coriander. Middle notes are oud, patchouli, vetiver. Base notes are tonka bean, labanum, and cedar wood. So same thing again. Got some coffee here, you know. Clear the nose palette. I love the smell of fucking coffee. <sighs> what I drop? Who knows? All right. All right, let's spray this one. Whoa, ooh, ooh, man, I am so happy, dude. Score, bangers, oof, my goodness. Man, I, I just fell down another rabbit hole and I'm sticking to this company. For this price and to try all these different fragrances, fuck yeah, dude, you know? And some people are like, oh, it's blue, it, it's um, generic. I, why don't you just buy the real thing? Come on, some of you guys, some of us buy when our soap maker artisans release inspired by fragrances and they sell their colognes, we run to buy those and that's okay. Dude, this company, the price, the sample, you don't like it, send it back. You guys have nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oh, loving it. I like this one more than the Creed Aventus one. Oh my God, look at that. Some of my favorite notes, man. Tobacco, woo, oud, patchouli. Ah, I'm a funk boy, but I do enjoy all scents, you know? Just just like, scents are like food, man. You know, one day I may want sushi, tomorrow I might want steak, the next day salad, next day pizza, you know, just different flavors, different scents. I love it all. Oh my goodness, all right. Am I happy? Am I keeping this one? 
definitely. And that sample. You guys see how big that sample is, man? This sample will last me like 10, 20 uses probably, man. I don't overload, you know? <laughs> Overspray. Man, that is good. Next one. Next one. Same packaging. We'll pull out the card. And this one is Oriental Tobacco. All right. So that's a generic name. This one is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Eau de Parfum. Top notes are tobacco, ginger, apricot. Middle notes are honey, vanilla, coca. Ooh. Base notes are tonka bean, dry fruits, and blonde woods. The concentration on this one is a little stronger. It's at 18%. All right. Let's do the palate cleanser of the nose. Coffee. Mm. All right. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that vanilla tobacco. Ah, it, this smells like soaps I've used, like, um, like um, The Novelist, um, to, uh, Vin, uh, the other, I'm so bad with names, man. I'm bad with people's names, I'm bad with all kinds of names. The other tobacco, tobacco de vanilla, vanille from um, uh, a and &E as well. Similar. This is fucking nice. Another banger, dude. Oh my goodness. Woo! I scored. I am happy. New fucking rabbit hole. Last one. And this one, I, I this one, I did get a whiff from opening the box. This is the only one I've opened up and smelled previously. I didn't spray it, but this is the one I said that kind of leaked because there's a little oil spot right there. Um, nothing I can see leaking from the bottle. So I assume it was a sample. And this one, this one is called, the generic name is Woody Sandalwood. The other ones I probably didn't focus like this. Eh, it is what it is. All right, so this one is inspired by Le Labo Santal 33 Yule de Parfum. The concentration on this one is 18%. And the notes are, top notes are violet, leaves, cardamom. Middle notes are oris, ambrox, cedarwood, cyperol, C-Y-P-R-I-O-L. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. And this one was a fucking banger too, dude. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> That's my daughter laughing. They're out there watching Disney Plus. All right, palette cleanser and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I think out of all of them, the Creed Aventus one is probably my least favorite, but I still really, really like it. So that's kind of like, you know, I don't know, you know, Back to food, man. Some of my favorite foods are like Thai sushi, um, Thai food sushi, um, I don't know, fucking steaks. <laughs> you know, I just say like, which one do you like less? Like I fucking like them all. I'd be more than happy eating any of them, you know? Uh, but that's, you know, that, that one's kind of probably my least favorite out of them so far, out of first impressions. Um, fucking bangers, man, it's so hard to choose. This woody sandalwood, oh man. Probably the, the Tom Ford ones are probably my favorite so far, but I really like all of them. Oh my goodness. This is the last one, so I'm just gonna kind of rub it on. Man. All right, so am I returning any? Nope. Am I keeping them all? Yes. Am I happy? 110%. Dossier, I found them on Instagram. And uh, right now, dude, if you buy four, 20% off, dude. So I bought three, it was like 119 bucks. Pretty much got one for free. I'm probably gonna return to that rabbit hole right now and order a few more. 
I work hard. I play hard. I deserve. Yeah. <laughs> How selfish does that sound? Maybe I need to reevaluate that. <laughs> All right, guys, I thought this was gonna be a quick video. Nothing's quick with me, man, but I am happy and I can officially say wet shaving, Dixons and fragrances are my rabbit holes. I just discovered a third rabbit hole. Stay away from the honing, Serge, stay away from the honing. <laughs> you guys have a good one.